Hello! Welcome back to my channel. Today is April 20th, so I had my third chemo treatment yesterday. It went pretty much as expected. Um, went pretty quick. They were uh, really, for the most part, on time, so I was only there for just under three hours. This time it only took two times to get the IV in, so that was uh, exciting, though it was really weird. They tried my hand and they couldn't get it over here, so then I ended up getting it in and around this area, which was just an awkward application, but it, they, they got it in, so that's what's important. And um, yeah, so I had my reduction in my chemo drug this time, so we'll see how this week goes. Um, Monday, same as always, got home, had enough energy to have lunch, and then I was passed out on the couch for a couple hours, then climbed into bed for a couple hours, and then I was up for the evening, but by maybe 10.30 or so, which is somewhat my normal bedtime, I was out like a light. So Monday, one as expected. Today is Tuesday. Um, I'm feeling okay, just feel a little like heavy and a little shaky mostly right now. So um, hoping that maybe is like the maximum of what I'm feeling today and it doesn't get worse. I took my anti nausea meds this morning and the sun has just come out. Yay. <laughs> so hoping that keeps me pretty level. I have to do my lapelga shot uh, this afternoon and that's to help my white blood cells. So I'm going to try and set up the camera and, and video that application. And um, I have to take a couple other pills with it, uh, some Benadryl as well as now they've asked me to uh, take some Pepsid, which is mostly for like, I think heartburn or something like that, but it has a type of antihistamine in it that is different than what Benadryl has. So my doctor's hoping maybe the combo or the addition of the Pepsid might um, make it so that I don't get that reaction where my skin goes red and uh, maybe that will be the combination needed to bypass that minor allergic reaction to it. Then of course we'll see when I get my blood work done before my next chemo treatment whether the lapelga was able to bump my white blood cell count to where it needs to be. When I did my repeat count to see whether I'd be able to do my chemo treatment number three, it was still a little low. It was 1.9 on the Friday and the minimum that they look for is two. So I think she was banking on the idea that from Friday to Monday, it would push would have pushed me a little bit over the number two mark. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll see how that goes and um, hopefully I don't have to delay chemo again <laughs> by another week. I'd like to uh, get these done and over with, so we'll do our best. Uh, so that's what's going on right now. I'm going to see how today goes. And um, oh, tomorrow's my wedding anniversary. It's our third anniversary. So hoping maybe I'm feeling up to um, being a little bit more social <laughs> and, um, you know, maybe we can watch a movie and have a nice dinner or something like that instead of me just like scarfing pasta and curling up in bed. Who knows, maybe I'll put on one of my pretty scarves and possibly a dress and we can call it a date night <laughs> to celebrate our third wedding, wedding anniversary. So yeah, I will check back in with uh, you guys later. Okay, so here I am preparing to do my lapelga shot, which is the shot that helps build up the white blood cell count. So I've got my shot. Doctor also recommended the two antihistamines in order to try and counteract the uh, reaction that I have to the shot. So I'll take two of these, two of these, and then I will inject my Lapanga shot. So, be right back. Okay, so this shot here, the lapelga shot, it is a preloaded injection, so I don't need to do anything about drawing medication or anything like that. I just boop and it's like spring activated when it's done. It'll pop out when it's done. Take the top off. I'm gonna kind of find a nice spot there, squish it up a bit, 
This needle's a little bit bigger than the ones I'm used to with my fertility stuff, so it tends to hurt a little bit more. But here we go. And there goes the spring, and that's a injection dosage, injected. And there we have it, injected my lapelga shot. That one actually didn't hurt as much as past ones, so yay. And now we will see whether my face and my neck and my chest start to go red. So before, which I know in this lighting I kind of look a little peachy, but we'll see if it uh, kicks in even worse. So adding the Pepsid in seems to have helped. I did not get the red flushing that I have in the past, so either the Pepsid with the Benadryl or just the addition of the Pepsid is what uh, made it so I didn't get that um, allergic reaction that I normally get. So now we have a plan moving forward for my next Lapelga shot. Yay. Today is Wednesday, April 21st, 2021, and it's my wedding anniversary. Brian and I are celebrating our third wedding anniversary. We got married at my family's church and had our reception at the Old Mill. It was beautiful. Out of the three anniversaries we've had so far, two of them have been celebrated during the pandemic. So normally I would just prepare you know, a nice meal for us, and we would watch a show or watch a movie, which is the plan for tonight, except I'm not feeling so great today, so Brian has stepped out to go pick up some takeout for us so that neither of us have to cook, and we can just enjoy a nice meal together and probably just watch a movie <laughs> and then go to bed because <laughs> I'm tired, <laughs> always tired. But it's nice to have something to celebrate today. And, uh, you know, three years, it went by so fast, and yet at the same time, it doesn't seem that long ago. And just like everything that's happened to us in the last three years uh, has been a lot, um, but our relationship has stayed, you know, true. <laughs> and, uh, He's been such a great support and a partner to go through, you know, we've had a lot of, a lot of hard stuff hit us in a very short period of time. And hopefully we will get all of the hard times, you know, the good and the bad, get all the bad done now so that the rest of our marriage can just be filled with all the good news. I think that we deserve that. So here we are on Saturday now. It is May already, wow. Uh, so I'm heading into my last of the AC chemo treatments on Monday. I went in on Friday to get my blood work done and my white blood cell count was high enough that it was not problematic for me to do my treatment, so no delays this time. So it's really exciting that I'm gonna be finished with AC um, because that has been rough, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I've had some bad days. I've had symptoms that I'm not even telling you guys about because I don't feel comfortable revealing that level of personal detail on the video, but I'm gonna be super pleased when that, when that portion's done. I will be moving into a different drug after that, and I'm gonna do a different video on that because that's a whole process and a, a whole other thing that I'm still thinking about and, um, you know, deciding on a uh, course of plan. Don't worry, I'm still doing the chemo. I'm not like dropping out of chemo or anything like that. It's just there's some decisions about the treatment plan that uh, I need to make before, you know, the next two weeks when I go back in and uh, move on to the second phase of the chemo treatment. But for now, let's focus on Monday. We'll get through the final AC treatment. The Red Devil will be moving along and, uh, and I'll be free of that. 
So as I said, I did go in and see my oncologist on Friday. I did want to talk to her about uh, something I had noticed over the last two weeks, and that was mainly that the lump in my right breast around the five o'clock position, I have multiple masses in my breast, but the one that I could feel the most and had the most um, you know, distinct like firmness to it, like it, it was kind of like a frozen pea under the skin, a little bit bigger than a frozen pea, but that kind of feeling under my skin. So it was, it was pretty noticeable to, um, you know, when you're feeling around there to find it. So about two weeks ago, I noticed that um, I was having a hard time finding it. It, uh, it felt softer. I wasn't feeling that firm, hard, like edge to it where I could almost like trace the half circle that's like protruding, <laughs> not protruding, but that is, um, that you can feel under the skin there. And I was like, I can't find it. And then after like probing around, I'm like, oh, you know, it feels softer. Like I feel something there, but it all feels softer. I'm like, holy crow, does this mean after three treatments of AC that it's actually starting to work and this mass is, is like disintegrating or breaking down or um, shrinking? Then um, about a week later or so, I was feeling around again and I'm like, oh, okay, I can feel it a lot more this time. And then I would stop feeling it and then it would be there again. And up to, you know, yesterday, the morning of going into my oncologist, and I'm like, okay, now this feels exactly like it did the day one. It was very noticeable, firm, didn't feel any smaller, didn't feel, you know, smushy. It, it just felt like it did on day one. So I went from, like, super excited and optimistic, like, oh, this is working. It's, like, it's dying. <laughs> um, the tumor is dying. Uh, to, well... I don't know what's going on. So excited, disappointed, confused. So I went into the oncologist and told her what was going on. And um, she has recommended that we do an ultrasound. Uh, we decided that we would wait until after I finish the fourth AC chemo treatment on Monday. So probably two weeks after that, when I go in and see her, she'll send me down for an ultrasound and we'll just take a look to see what's going on. Um, you know, hopefully, best case scenario, it's smaller than what it was before. Um, I guess worst case is that it's grown, but it's pretty crappy if it's the same size as well. So I feel a little bit better that we'll be doing the ultrasound because that will give me some kind of, you know, assurance or information at least um, to see how things are going before we head into the next group of chemo. Um, so... Anyways, I'll keep you posted on that once with that's done and I get the results. I'll, uh, I'll let you know what, uh, what they found. So other than that, things have been pretty good. The last couple days I've been feeling pretty, pretty good. <laughs> I've been feeling really well. Um, today especially was a good day. Um, and hoping it continues on through the rest of the weekend on Sunday. And then we go into chemo and we kick the red devil's ass out and um, be done with that. <laughs> so I will end this video here, but I did want to say thank you to all of my viewers, uh, people who have subscribed, who've left comments. I appreciate it greatly. Like I read all of your comments, um, so keep them coming. I love hearing your well wishes, your prayers, your advice. Um, like I said, I read all of them and um, it really makes me feel good and, um, you know, I really appreciate that you guys are on this journey with me and, you know, listening to me talk about myself all the time <laughs> in these videos. You can also catch me on Instagram. My handle is at catgocrazy. I try to keep that up to date a little bit more with my just daily going ons. Um, this last week hasn't been awesome because my work has been so busy, but, you know, I try and post there throughout the week. Um, just to say what's going on in my life, what, what I'm doing, uh, maybe the occasional picture of my super adorable cat. <laughs> so feel free to check me out at, at catgocrazy on Instagram or keep checking back here. Hit that uh, subscribe button and the bell so you're notified whenever I upload a video and you can follow along as I progress into the next chapter of my chemo treatment. Um, so yeah. Thank you so much and um, I'll see you next time.